Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be describing how we can cite a general article in the Vancouver system. So there are various systems of uh, citing an article like APA style that is American Psychological Association style. Then there is MLA style that is Modern Language Association style. Then there is uh, Chicago Manual of Style. So there are various methods. But Vancouver system is one of the most commonly used methods of uh, writing a reference. So in this particular video, I will describe how we can cite a journal article using Vancouver system. There are different methods of citing a book, citing a chapter of a book, citing an online uh, resource material. But in this particular video, I'll be describing only about uh, citing a journal article using the Vancouver system. So whenever we cite a journal article using this system, first we should know that there are six elements of uh, the reference. So here I have depicted those six elements in different colors. So let's see what are these six elements. So the first element, it is the author's name. So the first thing we write is the name of the authors. Now while writing the author's name, we can see here that surname is written first, followed by the initials of the first or middle name. So here Khilnani AK. So Khilnani is the surname and A is the first name, K is the middle name, like this. So all the authors are written like this. Then there, if there are more than six authors, then after writing the names of the six authors, we can add et al at the end after six authors. So this is how we write the names of the authors. The second component of reference is the title of the article. So in this particular example, the title is prevalence of nomophobia and factors associated with it, a cross-sectional study. So we can see here that whatever title is mentioned in the article, it should be written as it is in the reference. The third component shown in green here is the abbreviated journal name. That is the name of the journal in which that particular article is published. In this example, the name of the journal is International Journal of Research in Medical Sciences. But here we see that the abbreviated journal name is written. So that this abbreviated journal name, it, it is mentioned mostly on the journal's website or if the journal is indexed in a particular indexing agency like PubMed. So in their catalog also, you can find the abbreviated journal name. The fourth component of writing a reference is the year of publication. So in this case, this article was published in the year 2019. Fifth thing is the volume and the issue of the uh, of the article of the journal in which that article is published. So this particular in this particular examination, seven is the volume of the journal. So this article was published in the seventh volume of the journal. And after that, in bracket, we write the issue. So second issue. So this article was published in the second issue of the seventh volume of uh, this journal, International Journal of Research in Medical Sciences. And finally, we write the page numbers. So here we can see that this article has page numbers 468 to 472. But in Vancouver system, we do not repeat the numbers. So here 468 to 472, so we you know, see that 4 is common. So we just write 468 to 72. So these are the six components of writing a reference in Vancouver system. Now the second important point is the punctuation marks. So let's again see how these punctuation marks are used in Vancouver system. So in the author's name, uh, each author name is separated by a comma. So here we can see that first author comma, second author comma, and after the last author, there's a full stop. Then the title of the article, and after the title of the article, again, there's a full stop. Then the name of the journal followed by the year of publication. So important thing we can notice, there is no punctuation mark between the journal name and the year of publication. After the year of publication, there comes a semicolon. Then the volume and the issue of publication, and then comes the colon. So we can see here colon is there. And finally, after the page numbers, we can see a full stop. So this is the format of citing a journal article in the Vancouver system. 
uh, we should know the six components and we should know the proper punctuation marks uh, punctuation marks where they are where they are used thank you very much